Mark Ermatinger from Industrial Control. I'm here today to kind of talk to you a little bit about Banner's new iView system. What it is is an uh, all-in-one camera, so there's no computer needed. It's got a touch screen on the back where I set it up and configure it. But what it's doing is taking a picture of the part, and we pre-program it looking for a pattern, or we're looking for some blobs or some holes uh, in our parts. And from there, it's going to make a decision whether it's a pass-fail. And you're going to get that pass-fail out on this cable, which you can then run to your uh, PLC on your machine so that we can kick this part off the line. So it's a very innovative system for about $1,100. With this system, the advantage of this system is, is that anybody can really come in here and within 30 to 40 minutes, they should be able to walk through these menus without having any software or computer hooked up to it and pre-program this through the menus and very easily set it up to train it on your product and get it going quickly. Uh, We've seen a lot of vision systems over the years, and this is the one that we've been waiting for, something that we really don't need to have a lot of Ethernet hooked up and a lot of software hooked up, so we can very quickly go in here and set this up. So I think it's really going to change our market space when we go and do quality control on the factory line. The Banner iView system uh, is a very, very easy-to-use system that anybody can really get into and start using because everything's built into it. Uh, with that touch screen on the back, it's very easy to program. You've got your pass-fail light on the top of the uh, camera that will indicate uh, whether your product is working or not and inspecting properly. Price point comes in again at $11.95 for everything. Uh, lenses you can get for an extra 10 bucks if you want to zoom in on something. We've got automotive, food and beverage where we're looking for labels, make sure we got the right label on there. So speeds, again, are very, very quick and handle that type of speed. Here's an example of date and lock code, uh, which I think is going to be very good for. Blister pack as well, very simple device just to make sure everything, all the pills are there. So we're very excited, but I want to jump into some of the software now and show you some of the software that we have. Uh, inside the uh, disk that you get uh, with the camera, you'll be able to go in and and run through a tutorial system where you can walk through and they'll step you right through each one of these examples and how to do them. But the camera itself has three main areas that you can program. They have the match where you can go and teach it a pattern and count how many patterns are there or just verify you have the correct pattern there. Uh, you also can set it up for an area where it's going to look for a blob and it's going to count those number of blobs. So if you have a high contrast situation uh, either a bright part or a, a dark hole that you're looking for, you can do that. And then the last uh, function of it is area with motion, so that if things are scanning by, uh, coming down the conveyor line, uh, we can trigger and track that part so that our sensor moves along with it, so we're watching that part as it goes past the camera. So those are the three areas that you have. But as you can see in the software right here, when I go through, the back of the screen, here's an example of a pattern match, and they just walk you right through exactly how you're going to go through and do this. Uh, so you can go in and look at patterns, you can also figure out how they do uh, areas and areas with motion. Along with some of the applications, you've got a whole slew of applications in here that you can step through. Uh, example, blister pack, and from here you can actually launch uh, the emulator that's on here and start to run through that application and see how it works. So we have date lock code inspections, drilled hole assemblies, um, marking. You can also use external light. Here's an example where we didn't use a built-in light, we used external lighting. It's not very often you need to do that, but for some inspections uh, you will get better results. Here we're looking for a pattern uh, as it's moving 360 degrees potentially down the conveyor line some injection molding, make sure uh, you might have a cap missing off your bottle. So again, we have the speed to do that. Uh, part of orientation, coming out of a bowl feeder, whether it's in the right orientation or correctly before it gets to the rest of your assembly. Uh, we do some inspection just for mail, uh, orientation again, some label inspections, part flaw inspections. So there are a lot of examples in the software here of what you can and cannot do. And I hope you get a chance to get into the software and, and just explore it a little bit more. Excellent. So what I'd like to do today is just kind of talk to you a little bit about some of the features that it has. 
and the benefits. Um, the system itself right here is a nice compact system with a nice screen on the back. The resolution of the camera is 752 by 480 pixels. So you get a really sharp image, which is unusual for a small system like this. Also, the speed of it is very quick. Some of the exposure times that I was testing on were at 28 milliseconds, which is very, very quick to take your acquisition and do your pattern matching all in 28 milliseconds. So a very speedy system. It can also do 360 degrees if your part is rotating, uh, which is also very good for that type of speed. Um, along with that, you've got your built-in light. You've got a lens, which is an M12 lens, and you can change those out. We have a variety of lenses, anywhere from 8 millimeters up to 16, and we also have a 25 millimeter lens, so you can zoom right in on the part. Um, along with that as well, we also have a USB port on the back here, so we can save images, we can throw them on this USB, back up our program, uh, put them on our computer and run a little emulator program if we want to show others or train others how it's done without having the hardware there. Or more importantly, if you're having problems on the line and you're having uh, issues where you just can't quite figure out what's going on, you can record all your failed images here overnight, come back in the morning, take them off the stick, and bring them back to your desk and work on the application. Try to figure out exactly what it might be. It might just be something as simple as the threshold just set too uh, aggressively and, and it's not allowing that uh, match to come through. Again, on the disk that you'll receive with your uh, iView camera. Uh, this is where you have your emulator and some of your technical documents and your training. It's not needed to set this up. Again, it's just a, a complete system that is all set with a touch screen on the back. The software really is just a guide to help you get through the, the training if needed. Um, here's an example of some of the data sheets that are on here. So I can open up uh, data sheet and I can also open up some references on how to program it step by step. Uh, when we talk about uh, how do I get started in this, here's an example of a built-in lens selection. So I can come in here and specify that I want a three inch field of view, hit go, and it's going to tell me that I need to be six inches away with an eight millimeter lens or I could be 20 inches away uh, with a 25 millimeter lens and get that field of view and that field of view is really what we're looking at uh, what the camera is going to be looking at so that could be a 20 inch field of view or a 3 inch field of view just keep in mind that with built-in light you want to be about 10 inches away uh, 8, 10 inches if you start getting too far back you're going to want to add extra light uh, to make sure that you can see everything you need to see in closing I just want to say that I've been in machine vision for about 10 years now. I do a lot of applications. That's what uh, is my passion and what I really go after every day. And I see about 300 applications a year. Um, we've been waiting a long time for this because anybody can really get into this, set it up through the back. Uh, I've been bringing it around and, and the customers I deal with for a long time that know vision for a long time are, are really quite amazed by it. So. We're very excited about its power uh, and its ease of use and the fact that we have no computer. Uh, the advantages of this is, is taking sensors to a whole new level where anybody can literally jump online and, and stick this on a conveyor and go. So I hope you uh, have a chance to give me a call or stop on by and I'd love to demo this to you and, and I hope that you have a good experience and I know you will.